Hello everyone, today I'm going to be playing the hardest ROM hack ever made, Pokemon Emerald Kaizo. This time I've set some rules to make the challenge harder. The game itself is already very hard, but still we want suffering, don't we? I've decided to use only psychic type Pokemon in my team. So the basic rules, only psychic type Pokemon in the team, no items allowed in battle. And I'm really really sorry about this, but I don't have a GBA or anything to record on. Neither can I record on a PC emulator because I have a PC but I'm not allowed to use it for games. So I'm doing it on a mobile emulator. I'm really sorry guys, but that's what it was. So without further ado, let's get this channel started. First of all, this weird professor told me about Pokemon even though I know more than him. Right, so I named myself Vic because that's who I am. I'm Vic. Then I just had fun with the clock because I like it. Then just the random stuff that we do every day. Talk to me. Okay, yeah, this one. I had to pick Torch Egg because... I didn't know how psychic pokemon could be as a starter starter therefore I thought it would be easy to use torchic and escape from battles that weren't psychic pokemon so I had to fight the zigzagoon but sorry so after destroying the swift using level 2 zigzagoon I just named the torchic trash cause that's what it is the torchic trash then sadly I had to use trash with me. I had to have the fight with Torchic because I can't get Pokeballs before that fight. So uh, my fingers really pained while I had to use trash in this fight man. Slowly but surely I just took the Murkip down with scratches. We were both in red health but it got down like it wasn't that hard. I got 69 EXP points. The only nice thing about trash. It's still trash though. Then the professor and his kid gave me the Pokedex as well as the Pokeballs. I guess they are too rich. And my mom gave me the running shoes cause apparently running without running shoes is illegal. Something like that. Then started the grind. Oh man. I'm, I'm pretty sure I at least wasted like one hour finding psychic pokemon like full one hour in real time i had and i said that torchic might be useful because its speed is high right for escaping nah the only thing it could outrun was that sand shrew oh man this challenge is gonna be hard then i finally found a hoot hoot which i thought might be psychic pokemon so i just threw my pokeball at him and caught him like I was sure it's not one but well I just named it maybe because I didn't know well I just checked and guess what it wasn't a psychic pokemon it was just a normal flying pokemon just look at that guy how is he not a psychic pokemon he looks so weird but well I just threw him in the box and left then after going out, uh, my grind continued. I found a spoink though. I didn't know it was psychic. I do now. But I let myself die. I didn't feel anything. Then I searched up sp spoink type psychic. Oh man. I I face palm myself so badly. Then came the meowth age. All these meowths just killing me. Just, just grinding, grinding. Just one hour wasted to find just one psychic Pokemon. Like the sand shrews killed me. Yeah, I found another spoink though. Trash was asleep. Freaking trash couldn't even wake up. It couldn't attack. I tried using a Pokeball, but well, full HP spoink. One Pokeball. Nah. I was so sad and irritated. I just bought some Pokeballs. And went back to grinding because I didn't have a choice. Oh yeah, I found a Rats. Finally. Finally, I found a Rats. 
I'm sorry I had to like level up trash to level 7 so I could run away from meows really sorry but had to finally a psychic pokemon I didn't wanna lose this 2 scratch and 1 pokeball and the challenge was finally started I named the rats gem but it was like a gem to me as I was so happy I just started running around in circles you may call me an idiot for this but I like to be called a happy idiot you know then I hurried back to Pokemon Center and threw trash in the box but it didn't give me any satisfaction I had to throw the trash out of my box and yes I finally did it well maybe wasn't going out I knew it wouldn't but I just tried but you need one pokemon in the box well then I just spent the whole time grinding my gem like a lot of grinding so when I reached level 6 maybe level 5 I tried to take on I tried to take on this guy and let's just say this Pokemon just annihilated mine. His Pushyana doesn't even get affected by psychic type attacks, man. I had to kill so many bugs, so many Togepi's centred. Damn. Then at level 17, I found a Spoink again. This time it got caught. Like, what was the problem last time, man? I named him Pearl. Because, you know, he has a pearl on his head. Yeah, I know. I'm not too creative with names. You don't need to tell me that. I was feeling quite confident because I finally had two Pokemon. And my Rals was level 17. Like, But damn, the grind was so hard. And this time, the tables had turned. I destroyed his centret with a confusion. The Pushaina. I don't know the pronunciation. Shut up. I went down to one magical leaf and zigzagoon to another confusion. This time, I was so happy. I just flexed on him by running here and there. Looking back at it, I just think like the Calvin was the one laughing. Because he was safe. I wasn't gonna be. Also, I trained a pearl here. He went to level 17. You may ask me, why am I grinding so much? Well, I've seen this guy, Zvigo, and I've seen his Emerald Kaizo videos. And let's just say there's a lot of pain. Ooh, I finally found my dad who went to get milk and didn't come back for like 10 years. Then Wally wanted a Pokemon because he's dumb. I just hope always that the Rals will kill his Zigzagoon, but it never does. He got the Rals and then my dad flexed on me about being a powerful gym leader or something. I didn't really care. My Pearl got Bounce, which was gonna be a little useful. Oh yeah, I found a Natu, like my third psychic Pokemon. Um, I tried to catch it with one Pokeball, uh, but nah. So I just risked it and used a psi wave oh red health i was really scared maybe but well i caught him and named him small boy because you know he's small and he's a boy yeah i'm not creative shut up and i had to grind in these patches you know there are water pokemon so i was searching for a psyduck and i also had to like level up my pokemon because that was gonna be needed anyway so i finally found one i had small boy just Damaged a little. I was very sure Psyduck was a psychic Pokemon, you know. I caught him, named him Quack. Yeah. It was a water type only. Like, what the F? Like, how is this thing not a psychic type Pokemon? Even Golduck isn't psychic. Huh? I just threw Quack in the box. Then this green guy had to be saved from some red guy. I don't, I don't really care about them, like... Why would I care? I'm just 10 years old, man. This time, a gem was paralyzed. I think small boy fainted. I think I'm sure, yeah. And Pearl was the only one left. Like, the fight was, like, 
Pearl had leveled up a lot, therefore, the once after Magnemite was easy. But I really hate when I get paralyzed, like really. So I reached Duskull, but then I got to Red Health, and his Bagan took me out in one headbutt. Then I just leveled up my small boy to level twenty one, cause you know it was gonna be it is gonna be needed. Okay, I'm the post editing guy. I knew what happened. what i had to go through well then i started the fight again magnemite was gone to like three attacks two or three attacks i didn't see then i sent out gem to take his coughing out in one attack one shot just easy then his duskal came out duskal is not really that strong just that he has protection therefore it gets really irritating like you can't one shot him and stuff then i just somehow like two hit attacks and he's dead his bagan came out i just used magical leaf and a confusion he was gone cuz you know i still have the levels then his hound or for some reason i used the grass types on a fire type and psychic types on him then psy beam okay i'm dumb okay All right, I am dumb. I can't do anything about it. But it went out in one bounce, so it doesn't matter much. Well, I saved the green guy from the red guy, cause I guess green is the color of goodness and red is evil, something like that. Well, the green guy gave me a great ball, so that's what I wanted. Then I met red. Yeah, like what is he doing here? Like just randomly standing around, and with such a trash team. Like didn't he become the champion or something? well he just had level 9 starters like there's not much to talk about this fight really like even though it was red like look at this this is a level 21 pearl that i have got spoink i guess all his team just one shot all of his team like his squirtle charmander pikachu bulbasaur you'll see like just one side beam for them all just destruction total destruction I'm pretty sure Red stopped talking because of me. Yeah. Then I got to rush Boro and got a free HM. I guess. Oh yeah, I just grinded in the rush Boro area like this, a uh, grass patch, and then my gem evolved into Kirlia at the same area after grinding. Now to evolve into Zartu, like he became a big boy now. Okay, this was the gym fight. it was fairly easy cuz i was like 10 levels ahead of each of the pokemon there and i had magical leap so it was easy first one went down to one hit second one two hits lilip came out i used the psy beam critical hit done relicant i guess i should have used magic leap it became like three hits but i didn't remember sorry but it went out in three attacks then came out his shackle like the shackle it's really irritating when like that guy he set up so many curses like he wasn't just getting damaged at all then he took me out in a roll out pearl also like he was strong but he didn't do much in this fight cause shackle had set up curses and well he just did chip damage small boy came out and one side be and it was done then it was luna tone this fight man this fight was really lengthy like luna tone new moonlight moonlight heals your hp therefore he just kept healing i didn't have any super effective attack against him nightshade did the most damage so i was just using it well but finally after like a high roll nightshade i finally ended that guy and i got the first gym badge the stone badge from boxing then i saw a blue guy steal from a green guy like i don't really care i just heal my pokemon and train them again i really like gardevoir you know like not in that way but the pokemon is really good so i trained him yeah that's the time i spent the grinding i'm not proud of it but well it is what it is okay yeah the team aqua grind was also fairly not even fairly like it really easy you see that's what happens when you grind like me
you know, learn to grind like me. I just destroyed her entire team with one or two attacks. Like they were so weak, man. I was laughing so hard. The grind had finally paid off. After taking out the aqua grunt, this old bald man thanked me or something. Don't care. Then I fought May again. Like she's just weak, you know. Like first Pokemon to hit, Nidorina went out to a Psy Beam from me. Well, okay, let's just ignore like what happened in each fight. This was just easy because I grinded. Learn from me, guys. We need to grind. Then after like just little time I had ended her entire team and went to talk to Red. You know, you get it? Talk to Red. Well, Pearl then evolved at the Dewford gym. I went there and like first trainer, Pearl evolved. I wasn't recording because the space was low. And well, a Pokemon was fainted. But still, Psychic is super effective against fighting. Therefore, I knew I could do it. The first Pokemon went out to a Psybeam from small boy. Second one, same faith. The third one was also the same. Like, come on, man. Just one hit KOs. Polyrath went down to one attack. This thick boy just which stood my aerial ace. I could have just used Psychic, but I didn't see I had that move. This time I saw I had Psychic, so I just used it and Meditite was gone. And I finally got the Knuckle Batch. Then, then, then. So bad. I got the Flash HM, but I didn't want to waste. I did, don't like the idea of using HM Slaves. So I just went in blind. Like, while editing, I don't even know what this footage is. I just don't. Like, whatever footage I had, I just put it in there. I sped it up. And I hoped it works. Because I'm pretty sure no one is of you is going to know what is happening here. Because I don't myself. I just moved here and there, looked up some tutorials and finally, finally completed that area. And got to Steven. That too, I had to go so slowly. Like, I knew this game just wants to ruin everything for me. Everything. Like, I got to him. Like, he gave me this TM, which I probably didn't use. Because Psyche Pokemon, you know. Then I went back to Mr. Stone because I did his work for him, you know. Like I got the XP share, I got some soda pops from Slateport and I went there and I defeated the trainers. Stern was weak so I had to protect him from these Team Aqua guys. Well, I was pretty strong, like uh, 10 levels ahead of each of the Pokemon. So most of them were one hit. Crocono like irritated me a bit but... He was also one hit. Oh, sorry for the cut. Like, um, my recording stopped because my storage space was full. Like, my phone is trash all right. Then, the next Pokemon all were just one hits. Well, Lombre took two hits, but it doesn't matter much. Then, for the second fight, the second Grunt also showed up in front of me with his, her weak pokemon like just look at my pokemon when they're level 30 and this trash sending out sub level 20 pokemon like what most of his pokemon one hit smoochum came out well my bounce missed or it would have died i hate saying man i hate when someone makes my pokemon sleep paralyzed or anything but well pearl died i had to send out gem who took the smooth jump out in one hit. Then the Volma, another water type, one hit magical leaf. Clamper, water. Oh, next. It was just easy. Just magical leaf. That's it. That's just it. After defeating them, a big guy, their boss, showed up and told me something, I think, about water. Don't care about that. Then May was doing something in the grasses, so I, so we decided to fight again. She had this Pikachu clone. Like, who even knows these Pokemon? Who even uses these? I just used the magical code that track to got bounced off. I hate attract too, man. I hate most Pokemon which affect my Pokemon's attacking or not attacking. Like, you get it right. I'm bad at English. Like, 
it's not my first language guys come on then out came the nidorina after i destroyed the pikachu clone the nidorina was a one hit ko with sai beam next i we saw i thought i was over just would just go down to one sai beam well i couldn't attack like the paralysis like two moves in a row i couldn't attack one sai beam got to red health well what taken out by body slam gem came out destroyed the i we saw like come on man how weak can you be in the pgo to i had this bright idea of conserving my sai beam pp and using confusion which totally worked in my way by paralyzing me yes that's what i intended to do all along like just 300 iq guys then the quilawa was out in one oh, okay two hits like i'm 12 levels higher than this guy lol come on mash storm water and ground type one magical leaf done i did get down to red health but it's okay i'm strong like doesn't matter then i saw this kid volley again in front of the electric gym like does he have nothing better to do what he had a level 70 rats how many times do you press b to get a level 70 rats just tell me in the comments like why just evolve it damn it like it was so boring fighting that thing i just used night shade night shade because it was the most effective done then i went in to fight the watson guy like his pokemon always in each challenge irritate me i once tried a challenge to use only starters in this game this guy destroyed me this is where the run died so this time i tried my best like i was 6 or 7 levels higher than each of our pokemon but i got stuck on lantern that thing paralyzed me that thing thunder bolt me i just couldn't i just couldn't defeat it maybe if i used better moves maybe i don't know I, i like experimenting with moves sometimes i know that the move isn't going to be super effective but i just like to try them out you know well the lantern got to red health but i got taken out i should have used another psychic but it's okay like her next pokemon was too strong for me anyways i didn't wanna start grinding so i tried the fight many times again cuz i really didn't wanna grind i was so bored but i had to <laughs> i grinded mainly on cycling road and other places this time i was prepared level 45 plus all of my pokemon take that watson his jolteon went down to some psychics then his manatric came out she was also just one hit with a psychic this is easy just grind guys everything is easy when you grind and sorry for the background noise i can't do anything about it i don't own my neighborhood guy i don't own my neighborhood oh the lantern got taken out with a few psychics i was dumb i wanted to use signal beam it wasn't very effective but yeah at least i got to use it the ampharos came out i used a psychic it went down to half health well i got taken out with a thunderbolt but i still had two pokemon and my gem level 50 just imagine the amount of grinding i had to do guys <laughs> just makes you wanna cry it took all my anger out on this right shoe it a psychic he just died electrabuzz another psychic i just don't get it these guys are hitting me with literal thunderbolts like how am i not dying like how is this pokemon still alive will i beat watson and got the dynamo batch and a tm all right guys now i think it's time to end this video well the next parts will be out soon enough i'll see you later this was my first voice video as i told in the intro i work really hard on this please like share subscribe and well bye